Oh, no copy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I am learning so much. I'm sorry, Stephen King. I like those adverbs. Hey guys, I'm Kate. Welcome back to my channel. So I was thinking, <laughs> never a good way to start. I have been doing a lot of YouTube watching recently. And one of my favorite things to watch are videos that are like, I did blink like blink for a day. I always think they're so fascinating, especially when I have like some frame of reference for who blink is. But y'all know I love experiment videos. And so I thought that I would take writing routines from either famous authors or author tubers that I can find online and try and write like them for a day. And so to kick this off, I figured there was no one better to start with than Stephen King. One, because he has a book on writing. Two, because I have been doing a little bit of Googling and I have found several resources for his writing routine. And so I figured I could take a look at those and attempt to copy them to the best of my ability. So I have taken a little bit of notes. I have a quote here from him that says, I have a glass of water or a cup of tea. There's a certain time I sit down from 8 to 8.30, somewhere within that half hour every morning. I have my vitamin pill and my music sit in the same seat and the papers are all arranged in the same places. The cumulative purpose of doing these things the same way every day seems to be a way of saying to the mind you're going to be dreaming soon. And then the other thing I found in this same interview or the same extract of the interview is that he says, do 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 When I'm working, I work every day three, four hours and I try to get those six pages and I try to get them fairly clean. I'm also thinking of even incorporating silly things like write with the door closed and rewrite with the door open. I think that's more metaphorical and meaning, but I'm going to take it literally as well. <laughs> so I'm actually going to start getting ready for bed, even though it is a little bit earlier than I would normally do, because I want to try and work out before I start Stephen King's routine. But the basic gist is that I will start by eight in the morning or 830 at the latest. I will not do anything else, which means no internet browsing, no reading of books, and no switching of projects because as y'all know, I love to multitask my writing projects. But no, it sounds like Stephen King by all resources I can find on the internet from a quick perusal. True. But you get my point. He's focusing on one project at a time. So for one project, I will wait until I get six pages and then I will call it a day. I will also do things like bringing my glass of water with me, keeping my desk more or less the way it is. I'm also going to do things like keep my phone in a different room so that I won't have any distractions and this sucker, rather than being down, like I usually like it in the day for the natural light, it will remain up and closed and distraction free, ideally, because goodness knows I already have the internet. Actually, I think that'll be the other thing I do. I will also turn off the internet. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Ugh. I'm just now realizing if this Rolling Stone article is to be believed, Stephen King does not drink coffee. I literally had to look that up just before I went to bed because I had a bad inkling that this was going to happen. No coffee, Oh, no coffee. Stephen King, why? <laughs> I do love tea. I will happily drink tea, but... Steven, why you gotta do this to me? <laughs> On the plus side, my desk is already in the corner. <laughs> also, a mantra of sorts for tomorrow. You must not come lightly to the blank page. Something to keep in mind. I will say, as I'm reading his book just before bed, to remind myself of things, he does say, I like to get 10 pages a day, which amounts to 2,000 words. That's 180,000 words over a three month span, a good ish length for a book. On some days, those 10 pages come easily. I'm up and out and doing errands by 11 30 in the morning. Perky is a rat and liverwurst. More frequently, as I grow older, I find myself eating lunch at my desk and finishing the day's work around 1 30 in the afternoon. Sometimes, when the words come hard, I'm still fiddling around at tea time. Either way is fine with me, but only under dire circumstances do I allow myself to shut down before I get my 2,000 words. Hmm. And Stephen feels very strongly, not only on those 2,000 words or the 10 pages or whatever kind of metric you want to use, but just that he doesn't think it should take any longer than three months to write a book. Very strongly. That being said, I think I'll let tomorrow me figure out how many words I want to write. And now it is time for bed. Ooh. All right, it's the next morning. I'm ready to write like Stephen King. So ready.
All right, I don't think this is a step in Stephen King's process as far as I can tell, but I'm gonna go ahead and make my bed because my bed is so close to my desk and I do know that Stephen King likes to keep his desk area tidy. We're gonna do the same here. Done. <laughs> I was honestly just about to pull those down, but Stephen King doesn't like distractions. <laughs> Do you, Stephen King? <sighs> okay. Now the final step before I get everything ready is I'm gonna go ahead and power down my phone. All right there for now. Now most of the information I could find about Stephen King's writing process were about his first draft process, not necessarily his rewriting or editing process, because apparently people don't find that as interesting, which is fascinating to me because as someone who does fast drafting, I actually don't think the fast draft is the interesting part because I have to do so much of it over again. <laughs> but for that reason, I'm going to work on my Camp NaNoWriMo project, Project Death, who feels very Stephen Kingy in you know, fake name alone. <laughs> Since that one is a zero draft for me right now. So we're gonna go ahead and pull up. I need to retitle this, but that's okay. It's happening, okay. Whew. All right, and then I also have up my Google Doc because I have found uh, differing evidence on how much Stephen King writes in a day. My book that I was reading last night said that he does 10 pages or 2,000 words, which his book was published in 2000 and that is that looks quite a bit different now on like my Google Doc or my word processing unit I believe than what Stephen King had in mind. This could be a revelation for me but if I were to guess I think I get about at least 500 words per Google Doc page. But then other resources and when he was quoted in talking with George R. R. Martin I think it was either I think it was six pages. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and hit 2,000 words first in one project, not alternating projects, Kate, <laughs> in one project. And then if it feels like that threshold hasn't been met, I will up my way to six pages and then to 10 pages based off of how hard it is to write like Stephen King. But before we begin writing, it is time. Now, Stephen King takes a vitamin. I don't have any vitamins, but I have started taking allergy medicine again. It's that time of year, so. Ugh. Okay, now I can start writing. And also let the record show it is now almost eight. Maybe I should wait until eight. <laughs> Once upon a time I did have the best of intentions to wake up and start working out before I did the Stephen King experiment, but then I was like, I don't wanna do that. <laughs> I did it, and now we're here. Yay, I got an extra hour and a half of sleep. It was great. No complaints so far for the Stephen King method. The good news for me is that I'm just starting a new chapter. I'll do 2,000 words here, and then I'll copy and transfer. Maybe once I get my first 500 words, I'll see how much space that actually takes up. Yeah, game plan. We're good. Let's see if you notice something. Mm. Why yes, I have used Google. I totally blanked and forgot that I wasn't supposed to be using the internet. I was writing something and I needed to know if you could milk a donkey. So I turned to old reliable Google. I typed it in and didn't even think of anything until I went to turn back and was like, oh. Yep. <clears throat> so that's good. I think now, since clearly I cannot be trusted to do it myself, oh, well, I have to ask out of this. For the record, you can actually milk a donkey. It just, like, it doesn't work as well as cows. X out of that, and I need to go ahead and turn the Wi-Fi off. <sighs> that being said, let the record show that it is 8.13. And I already have... 367 words for the day. I'm actually doing pretty good. All right, 596 words for the morning so far. I'm gonna go ahead and control, copy this and bring it over here just so I can see how many pages, oh. Man, I gotta turn the internet back on. 
it won't let me paste without it. Except that I would then have to Google to find it, thus kind of taking away the point of having it this morning. I would really like to have an app, and I know they exist out there, where I can like keep the internet on for very specific purposes, but obviously not allow myself free roam because I can't be trusted. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and paste this sucker. Okay, and then let's change it to like the typical, where's my Times New Roman? And let's go ahead and give me 12. Okay. Yeah, so that was just about one page, which is what I thought. So I think that means that goal number one for me is going to be the 2,000 words. That'll get me at about four pages. Then I'll see how long it takes me incrementally to go from that to six pages and then to 10 pages. Even though I don't know that that was Stephen King's original intent, I think the 2,000 is probably it, but also who knows? Who knows? So we'll just try. <laughs> Ooh, I'm at 1,111 words. That's awesome. 1,111. This is flying by. Part of the reason I think is just because I'm pantsing it, but I'm pantsing it in the way that I know this part because it's like the first third of the project and I always seem to know more of that. Mm, but, but here's my thing. Part of Stephen King's process, he said in both the interview and I believe in on writing, is that he writes very clean. So like when he was talking to George R. R. Martin, someone who would of course question, how can Stephen King write so fast? He does this process, make sure he gets it every day, but he also writes in such a way that he doesn't have to do what I do, which is like complete and utter annihilation of the story, like rewrites. I have to rewrite so much of it because I just speed through. And now, while I think that's a process that works for me, I'm not writing like me today. I'm writing like Stephen King today. So I have not written cleanly. I would not call what I have right here, right now. Like that's, that's not clean. So I think what I'll do is that once I hit the 2000 mark, I'll go and clean this up, see how many pages it actually gets me when I do that. And then we'll just continue on for each kind of incremental thing. Yeah. 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 Why not? <laughs> In the middle of that sprint, I went ahead and started chapter five. I'm trying to figure out kind of like a good break point because while Stephen King said that what he does is he'll have lunch at his desk if he isn't finished writing for the day, he did not mention breakfast. I'm almost done. Can you see? I'm almost done with my tea. I could probably do with some more water. But what I really want is food. <laughs> I've talked myself into it. I've written 1,290 words so far. It is just now 8.50 and it is time for my first break for food. <laughs> I also got more tea, more water, and in true Stephen King fashion, according to the internet, <laughs> I'm gonna eat at my desk. I'm not actually sure how many words I'm gonna get this way, but for, you know, the record, I'm at 1,290 still, so we'll see. All right, empty plate, I got. 1,372 now. Obviously I didn't get that many words, so I don't know how much it helped in terms of word count alone, but I think the real thing was that like what I would have done is sit here and watch a YouTube video or watch like a short episode of Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee or Queer Eye. That's a long episode. You see though, that's what would have happened is that it would have progressively, I could have talked myself into just like watching something while I ate because that's what I usually do because <sighs> You know, what am I doing? I can't just eat without entertainment. Oh my gosh. So anyways, this was a wake up call of sorts. So basically what ended up happening was it's not like I could browse my phone while I ate and I didn't watch anything while I ate. So really all I had to do was actually stay in the world. I just happened to also be eating and get less words, but like I was there, I was in the story still. So I think that's what the magic of this is. Thanks Stephen King. Mm. The problem is now that I've realized that, will I have like the, sorry, I'm dipping my tea. Will I have the wherewithal to actually stick with it next time? 
Probably not. I should say something else that I think is kind of getting to me and what I think will pop up <laughs> more and more as this morning goes along is that what I really want to do at this point is change stories. I've written 1,372 words in this story. I feel really good with where I'm at. Normally I would stop here and switch because I do have another story I could work on. I have another one I could be like doing the rewrite of, but I'm not going to do that because it's not the Stephen King way. Ugh. Anyways, we're gonna see how long this lasts for. I think I'll go ahead and clean up my desk and get it back to ideal writing position, but yeah. Oof. I feel like the easy part is past. Ugh. no bueno. That being said though, it still is only 9.14. I should have pointed out earlier, I think one of the big things that's part of Stephen King's routine, he mentions music several times over in the different interviews I've seen. I don't know if he mentions it in the book. I have been listening to music, it's just like not, I can't do, shoot the video and have the music in the background, so. I actually found Chilled Cow, I think someone on AuthorTube mentioned them and I've been listening to them ever since and they have a playlist on Spotify, so that's what I've been using. I'm also a big fan of the Brain Food playlist on Spotify, which is like low level, like calm-ish electronic music. I don't often write with music. I tend to listen to music when like all other times, just not when I'm writing, which I think is interesting. And I do it sometimes, like if I'm in a coffee shop or I'm writing out in public, I put my headphones on and I listen to music and it's nice to shut things out that way. But when I'm just at home, by myself, that's not something I do. But you never know. Maybe I'll find something I really like and it'll be great. And I sh am really procrastinating at this point. Wow. Uh, okay. Ugh, I've pressed this button like five times because what I want to do is just go over to the internet. I just want the internet. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> I am at 1,742 words and it is 9.35 a.m. So if I can hit 2,000 words before 10, that would be 2,000 new words in two hours. That would be awesome. I think that should be about four pages. And then, like I said, what I'm going to do is I'll actually go back through and make it better. <laughs> but I gotta hit the 2,000 first, so back to it. I do also want to point out I was very peppy when I first started. Well, not when I first started. <laughs> I was peppier earlier. I'm so used to having coffee by now and the tea that I chose doesn't have any caffeine in it. This is another wake up call. I drink so much caffeine. <laughs> I usually have had a cappuccino by now and I've started working on like a drip coffee. You know, I don't have a headache thankfully. Like I'm not I'm not that far gone, I guess. But I miss it. I miss the pep. Yeah. Okay. 2,036 words and it's 944. All right, and now that I've copied and pasted, you can see that it is four pages. So I'm gonna go back over things starting at chapter four because that's where I picked up this morning. I'm gonna read aloud what I have and I will edit along the way as I reread. Yeah, yeah. And then that way, ideally, hopefully, I will be at something that's a little bit better than what I personally usually write. <laughs> See if I can't fix it now. Mm. Oh, I'll leave my thoughts till the, oh my gosh, the hiccups. I'll leave my thoughts till the end. But like, there's obviously a reason that I write the way that I do. And if I knew Stephen King's exact like outlining process, this might be a different thought, but as it is, I'm gonna do the Stephen King method the best way I know how. So let's start at chapter four. <laughs> it was unlike the God of death to take a life in so vicious a fashion, but who did it answer to? Certainly not us. And who were we to question death? <sighs> I'm almost done reading and look what pops up. <laughs> Just between us posted a video. Ugh. But no, I will close out of it like the good writer trying to emulate Stephen King that I am. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, I finished reading. I did end up editing a whole lot, a whole lot, like little things here and there to make it more readable. And I did put some questions that I had that I know I need to go back and answer earlier on in the story, but at that point they hadn't been addressed. So I feel like that actually ended up being pretty good. I, again, 
Oh my gosh, what is happening? I'm now sitting at 2,055 words. And thankfully, I still have up here how many words I was at before. How many is that? 2,035, okay, so I added 20 words just from going about and editing and fixing things, which I think is interesting because what I thought was more common was me just subbing in and out words that made more sense. I didn't actually realize that I'd added anything, but 20 words when you're looking at 2,000 is 1%. 1% of the words has been added, so it's kind of like, eh, whatever. But 2,000 words does mean that I've passed the first marker I had for how much Stephen King writes in a day. I think I'm gonna go with his most recent interview that he had with George R. R. Martin and that said six pages. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and up it to 3,000 words and then I will call it a day not without editing and doing one other Stephen king -y kind of check and then I will feel like I have written like Stephen King. So let's get another thousand words. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Mm, I'm at 2,357 words and all I want to do is work on a different project. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. It finally happened! 3,000 words at... what time is it? 1040, dang, okay. Now I'm just gonna double check that it all equals out to be six pages. <laughs> there we go, just about six pages. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so <gasps> it added in the comment I put in my Scrivener file. That's very cool, okay. Anyways, just about six pages. I'm gonna go ahead and count it. And now my final writing base test, I have already looked over and edited this and gone over and seen those extra last thousand words. But what I want to check is how many adverbs I have in these 3,027 words. Can I figure that out in either Scrivener or Google Docs? Let's find out. Wow, okay, so thanks to Google, I went ahead and searched some stuff. I was able to find out that, look at this. So I've highlighted all of chapter four. If I go to edit, writing tools, linguistic focus, and then I type in or I click adverbs, look at what it does. Supposedly 117 adverbs. I mean, I don't know how you count some of these, but look at that. All those LYs, hardly, luckily, unwittingly, possibly. Wow, this is telling me I typed certainly not a lot in this one. <laughs> Wow, that's fascinating. I also found this adverb less. Let's copy chapter four and see if it comes up with the same amount as Scrivener did. Enter script, check. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and say that that's not 117 or however many. <laughs> uh, I realize I'm saying only a whole bunch. That's gonna, mmm. Mm. It also highlighted where? Somehow. Which I guess that makes sense, but the where one's what's throwing me off here. <laughs> Fascinating! Oh my gosh! Okay, well, anyways. Ain't that interesting. Let's go ahead and check chapter five now. Highlight, edit, writing tools. 167. Ouch. All later else. Nt. All these nts are picked up, which I think is interesting. Ooh, wait, what does some of this do? Direct speech. Oh, it gets my... <gasps> so you could fix it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I am learning so much. This would help me in some other stories. So because I go through so fast, I then end up infusing more personality into even the dialogue later on because my goal is that you can more or less be able to tell who's talking without the dialogue tags. <gasps> oh my gosh. How cool. Okay, anyways, this isn't supposed to be Scrivener lessons. This is supposed to be writing like Stephen King for a day. <laughs> that being said, there were just so many adverbs as picked out by both Scrivener and that that I'm just not even going to touch them, especially because when I was rereading parts of it, I like the adverbs in there. I'm sorry, Stephen King. I like those adverbs. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. Ultimately though, 3,000 words, it's only 1048, it's not even 11, so I got 3,000 words in three hours, and they're better words than what I would usually do by myself. That being said, I am not a fan of rereading my work fresh and trying to edit it that way, but just because what I do so often is changed, it's not the... M I don't like the idea of wasting time and it's debatable if that's considered a waste or not, but I don't like using my time that way when, for all I know, I might throw away that entire scene, you know? So do I wanna try and make that scene as well written as possible if I don't even know if that scene's gonna stay? 
there is something to be said for practicing and making things as good as you can make them at the time. Mm, I'm no Stephen King. It's fine. <laughs> but I think the most important thing and something that I picked up on when I was reading on writing last night for Stephen King is that to be a good writer, you need to write a lot, but to be a good writer, you really need to read a lot. So I'm excited for the rest of the day. I'm not gonna film it, but I'm just gonna be reading. I'm so excited. I'm gonna finish off this cozy mystery novel. I have several library books back there I wanna read, and then as y'all know, I have this entire section <laughs> of my bookshelf that are books I haven't read yet, so I got a lot of reading to do, and Stephen King, I'm so excited, thank you. And also, thank you guys so much for watching. Please do comment down below and let me know if you would use any of these kind of Stephen King writing hacks? Not hacks. Let me know if you'd write like Stephen King for a day. <laughs> Let me know if there's any parts of Stephen King's routine that you would like to take and use for yourself. Like for me, I think I would really like to not be so involved with the internet. I'd like to get 3,000 words done each day before I do anything else. That would be fantastic. And I would like those 3,000 words to not have to take all day because I get distracted with all sorts of other stuff. So that's definitely gonna be something that I'll be incorporating more, I think. I want to. The want is there, that's step one. <laughs> no, step one's admitting you have a problem, which I do. Step two, the want is there. <laughs> I think the next person I wanna try writing like is Haruki Murakami because his writing routine sounds, I mean, quite frankly, it sounds a little bit insane, but that's exactly why I wanna try it. So yeah. Anyways, please comment down below. Let me know if you find anyone else who has a really interesting writing routine. Let me know. I'm gonna be on the search for author tubers who maybe I can replicate their writing routine. I feel like my entire writing process is just an amalgamation of all sorts of ideas from other people that I thought, oh, that sounds cool and I think that could work for me. So yeah, please do let me know. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you all very soon with a new video. Bye. Literally the first thing I'm doing. Let there be light, yay, natural light. And also thank you guys to so much, to so much. Like I write like blank f for a day. Yeah, the blank I'm doing is writing. <laughs> I need to start all of that over again. Acquaint, acquaint, according to Scribner.